This is the Hot Wheels Hard Nose Twin Mill. Take a good look at that casting. This back end that you're seeing here is uh, the low part is the back of the car. See how the engines are facing forward? This is the front of the car. And this is quite easily the ugliest twin mill of all. The others look, all the other versions look really good. This one is just ugly. <laughs> Anyhow, according to the Hot Wheels Wiki, the hard nosed twin mill was produced from 2004 to 2006. They feature exaggerated fronts, no kidding, and the front is much smaller than the rear. This build will complete the series of twin mill redline conversions that I've been doing. I have Jay to thank over at Jay's Diecast Creations for making me aware of this ugly car. I didn't even know it existed. But uh, he brought it to my attention. So, uh, thanks. <laughs> Anyhow, I uh, am going to do the red line conversion on this, which is obviously going to be a little difficult with those big rear, excuse me, big front wheels. Honest mistake there. Um, <laughs> does have a metal body, plastic base, no interior. The red glass has to go. And uh, I'm not going to mess with the engines. They're already chromed. And much like the early red lines had plastic chrome engines, I just kept these the way they were. The metal needed uh, quite a bit of work. The front end right there, that section that I'm working on, it was bad. It had a gouge in it. It just wasn't made well. It wasn't made smoothly. And they kind of hit it with a lot of paint. But I worked on it, smoothed that out, smoothed out a lot of the rough areas on the casting. And there you see it uh, after smoothing a lot of it out and going over it with the Scotch-Brite pads on the, on the Dremel. And uh, there's after the first polish. And it was looking pretty good, but obviously it still needed some sand, wet sanding and uh, additional polishing. So I went through that to get it to a stage that I was really happy with. Once I completed this wet sanding, I did use the metal cast red paint as I've used in the other conversions to match all of the other sisters in the group. And uh, I did go over that with Minwax Clear, the gloss uh, clear that uh, polyurethane rattle cam paint. There it is after the final polish. Turned out pretty well. That front end, you can't really see the damage that was there originally. Even though it was a new casting, it was just made poorly. So that was off to paint. And then uh, you may recall from the tuned twin mill, I had made these donuts to go outside of the red line wheels. Had to sand off that little ridge on the red lines that's uh, at the back of the wheels. I needed those wheels to slide inside the donut. <laughs> so uh, that way there were actual red lines. And I, this was a test fit after doing the test fit. I do clean up those donuts and hit them with a semi-gloss clear to seal them, get rid of the white look to them and give them a more natural look like the rest of the red line wheels. If you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel for more. Uh, and now back to our viewing. <laughs> Here I am doing the wheels. Uh, I did use the bearings that I 3D print. I did have to drill out those bearings slightly because when I designed them, I designed them to be used with straight pins. And so naturally I needed those to be as tight as possible for the pins. Then I just drill them out a tiny bit if I want to use the original axles like I did in this case. I could have easily swapped this over to straight pins, but why? <laughs> I have axles to work with. And at that point, you know, you just crimp the ends with the fence pliers, pop those little bearings in the wheels, and ta-da! <laughs> you have red line wheels. 
There you see after I painted the uh, clear coat of those gloss donuts, for lack of a better term. And here I am force fitting the red line into it. Those red lines are from Bright Vision. And they work really well with the bearings that I print. You kind of fumble around a little bit because the, the recess on the donut, it just made it a little more difficult to press in the bearings because of the additional recessed area. But yeah, it wasn't that difficult. The base, if you look at the base up there, I did hit that with Model Master Aluminum paint, Plate Metalizer. Again, rattle cam paint. The Model Master paint has been discontinued, so I'm gonna miss that. <laughs> it works really well to simulate a metal base. I do clear coat over that as well after I hit the uh, aluminizer. It's a lacquer. I do put a clear coat over that as well. I did vacuform clear glass for this. And then I dip it in gauzy, gauzy, gauzy. If you want to see me do the vacuforming of that little tiny piece of glass, I did a separate video for that. It's a YouTube short that came out oh, about a week ago. And uh, I believe it's titled something like, Don't Be Stuck With Ugly Glass or something like that. <laughs> and this had ugly red glass. You know, if it had been black or dark smoked, I wouldn't have bothered changing it. But it would not have resembled an original red line if I had left that glass in it. So I just did the little vacuum farming of the thin presentation cover, cut it out, um, came up with this little glass. Dipping it in the gauzy does help reduce some of the static cling of the glass, for lack of a better way of putting it. Uh, I did use super glue to tack that down in place. And you'll see when I first touch it in here, the glass shifts a little bit. Because again, it's a little different than the original glass. Obviously, it doesn't have a lot of the stiffness or the base area to it. So yeah, there you see it shifted a little bit. And so then I took a, another clean toothpick to press that glass back in place. And uh, then the super glue, you know, is now holding it in place. I did use some micro crystal clear on the inside of that glass as well to help hold it in place. So now we're just going to throw it together. Again, I did not touch the engines. I just left them with the chrome Mattel put on them. Those fit into the base. They have little notches cut out for themselves. So the hardest part about working on this, honestly, is remembering that the big wheels are in the front. And it's just a difficult thing to wrap your head around because this is just a horribly ugly looking car. <laughs> the design, I can see why it was only around from 2004 to 2006. I'm surprised it lasted that long. It, uh, it was on borrowed time from day one. And, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the tuned castings, the exaggerated tuned castings. And yet those are almost more appealing than the hard nose series of cars. Because although the tuned castings are exaggerated in a way, they still are very proportional, for lack of a better term. They're more similar to the original car. They don't look as mutated as this does. But all that being said, it is one of the twin mill sisters. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I made it. <laughs> I'm not doing some of the little tiny twin mills or some of the larger twin mills. This is probably the end of the road for the twin mill series. So there's where we started. I, uh, yeah, just not a good looking car. And then they have the nerve to put the logo up there on the roof towards the back. I, I don't know. It's just bad. But uh, here's where we ended up. 
matches all the other sisters. <laughs> there you see the big red lines on the front. I doubt that I'll need to, to use those again either, but uh, I have the STL file handy if I need to print more. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this build. I mean, it, it uh, completes the series. There you can kind of see the clear glass, how it looks better than uh, the original. And the metal cast paint, you gotta love the metal cast paint. And the shine is actually better than you're seeing there from the clear coat. It, uh, it's a little muted in the, the uh, photo booth that I take these pictures in, but there's some still shots coming up. There's some glamour shots. I hope you've enjoyed this Twin Mill series. It's been fun doing them. It, uh, even when they're ugly like this one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it kind of looks better from this angle than, than like a side angle. And there's all the other sisters. Anyhow, thank you for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this too. And, uh, Special thanks also to my Patreon members for their support. Everybody stay safe and healthy out there. And uh, catch you in the next one. <laughs>